Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the brand new Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite. This is the entry level of all of the Mi devices of 2021 that came out during the announcement that they did yesterday during the launch event. Now first and foremost this is the Lite edition with 4G. There is a 5G model and we'll talk about the differences between those two but let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and do a quick hands-on and initial impressions of the brand new Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite. This is TK. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So as you see here, we have a screen protector. We have a clear case, the 33 watt charger that's capable of charging our uh, device. Of course, with the 4,250 milliampere battery built in, no wireless charging, a USB type A, the USB C, obviously that works with this as well as data transfer, a USB C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, since we don't have a headphone jack on this smartphone. And of course, uh, that's pretty much everything that you get in here. The 5G model is pretty much the exact same situation, same same battery capacity and same charging speed as well and of course the same dongle. So again this is the Mi 11 Lite. This is the entry level since this is technically the 4G model. There is a 5G model of this and of course on the left we have the Mi 11. Uh, it again one of my favorite devices running the 888 as far as a, basically a flagship uh, device from Xiaomi. Now the Mi 11 Ultra was announced but we'll have to wait a little bit more to be able to get some of those information there or even get a review unit possibly. Um, now on the right side what we get here essentially is the Mi 11 Lite 4G running the 732G. This is a mid-range processor from last year but it definitely is a gaming focused one as the G stands for for gaming here. As far as the cameras on the back we have a 64 megapixel primary shooter on the back an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel tele macro lens giving us the ability of getting that macro and of course telephoto lens as well. Uh, on the front we have a 16 megapixel camera that's going to be our selfie camera. 4K 30 maximum on the back and 1080p 60 on the front. It's going to be the maximum resolution. Um, on the right, we have a fingerprint sensor as well as a power button and a volume rocker. Uh, and of course, on the top, we have an IR blaster, one of the microphones. On the left, nothing, pretty much a clean slate. And on the bottom, we have a dual SIM tray supported uh, tray right there, uh, supporting 4G, but also no SD card. So the storage and RAM that you get is pretty much what you're going to be having. So I recommend going for the higher storage model. A USB-C for obviously data transfer as well as powering and of course listening to music. A bottom firing speaker married to the top earpiece to give us stereo speakers. Now, you saw that the fingerprint sensor is very, very fast. MIUI 12 here on top of Android 11 is sitting here. Very, very nice. Uh, the display that we have here is a 6.55 inch AMOLED display and it's running at 1080p, so full HD plus with 90 hertz. So that's the refresh rate that we get here. Now, when it comes down to configuration, there's going to be two different models. There's one with six gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And the other one is six gigs of RAM with 128. The 5G model will have the additional option of going all the way up to eight gigs of RAM. So that's something to keep in mind. And we're running at a UFS 2.2 with LPDDR4 in the, uh, RAM. So pretty fast, but keep in mind, whatever you get, you can't really upgrade since we don't have expandable storage here on this device. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is a 6.55 inch display. The Snapdragon 732G is the processor running here. And of course, everything else is pretty much what you would expect. Dark mode is turned on, MIUI 12. Uh, now, this is running on top of Android 11, not Android 10, and it is running the February 1st security patch update. And the model that I have has 128 gigs of internal storage. Uh, when we look at benchmarks overall, as far as performance, I ran Geekbench just to kind of give you guys a quick heads up. So 561 on the single core, 1779 on the multi-core, and under the OpenCL test is 1273. The UI is very fast and very fluid. The 732 is actually quite capable as far as a mid-range processor. Again, the 780G that was just announced from Qualcomm will be basically the best mid-range 7 series processor that we can get with the triple ISP and main performances there. So if I'm able to get my hands on one of those, I'll definitely do a comparison between the two. But I could definitely say that the 732 is no slouch and handle me UI 12 like a champ. There's no question that you're not going to have any problems. Now you are able to change the resolution between 60 frames and 90 frames directly within the settings under the refresh rate. You're obviously also able to turn on dark mode, customize the brightness level, reading level, color scheme, um, full screen mode. And last but not least, you probably already saw that we have video uh, lock screen wallpaper, which is definitely one of my favorite part. If you guys like this, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'll share with you guys how to be able to get something like this on your me UI running device today. It's very, very simple. But of course, the fingerprint sensor runs, works very nicely. Now, of course, for a sound test, we're going to go ahead and test out the stereo speakers that we have in here. No headphone jack, but definitely nice to have stereo speakers. Bottom firing speaker, top earpiece. We're going to go ahead and skip over to the beginning of the drop. Again, this is Alex Scrindo Jumbo by NCS Release. The volume level is at 100.
definitely sounds really good, very bassy, and you definitely appreciate the fact that this is a very thin device. Again, flat display on both, on the front and the back, the both pieces of glass with a little bit of curvature around. So no sharp edges, but definitely feels and uh, looks really nice as far as the design. Again, for a light design, a 4200 milliampere battery is actually inside this very thin device. Now, of course, you're pretty much wondering, how does the cameras work on this device? So overall, again, 64 megapixel is going to be the primary shooter in the back and at 16 megapixel in the front. We have AI mode, we have video mode, we have pro mode as well. Uh, 4K, 6, sorry, 4K 30 is going to be the maximum on the back and 1080p 60 on the front. And that's possibly also due to the fact that we're running the 732G and not the 780 and not the 765. So the maximum is at 30 frames per second in the back on the here of the camera. Now, as far as the actual additional modes that we have in here, of course, we have night mode, full sensor readout, uh, document mode, vlog, uh, panorama, time-lapse. Dual video gives us the ability of using both sensors, the front and the back sensor. And you're also able to kind of customize the experience by making whichever one the primary and the other one just basically sit in there. And you can also customize the level of where the video goes in. Very nice. And we, of course, have those nice movie effects, as you're seeing right there. That nice little, uh, what they call basically magic zoom, where you're kind of like punching into a subject, but everything else around it is moving. And of course, we have that nice, uh, what they like to call basically as parallel worlds. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't have a really very interesting background for that example. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into a quick demo of front-facing and back-facing cameras on the Mi 11 Lite. So we're going to start off with the front-facing camera on the Mi 11 Lite. 1080p 60 is the maximum resolution we can get, uh, but of course we can do better on the back-facing sensor. It's definitely nice to have 60 frames per second, especially for smooth video in case you want to slow them down a little bit. Uh, but again, let's go ahead and see what the back sensor can do. Now when we turn over to the back-facing sensor, this is obviously going to be the best experience that we can get. 4K 30 frames per second on the 732G here on the Mi 11 Lite. Now the other variant, the 780, unfortunately I don't have access to that one yet. Uh, I would imagine that it actually does a little bit better as we have some improvements done there with the Mi 11 Lite 5G. Keep in mind, the one we're looking at today is the 4G. The 5G has a slightly more improved, just announced chipset from Qualcomm which is the 780. And as you heard there it definitely sounds really good again 1080p 60 4k 30 in the back definitely very nice. Uh, as far as gaming we have game turbo which is pretty much pre-installed as usual and of course uh, there's a, quite a few games installed by Xiaomi already on this device so if you want to add a game that is not listed in here you just hit the plus and you can go through scroll, scroll through the actual list of apps that you have in there and you can add them and of course that'll be able to give you the ability of customizing the UI elements. So I have PUBG installed, I have Call of Duty Mobile, we'll definitely do a quick demo of that one. Now there is a few additional games that are installed in here and just for reference, I know probably you guys are probably interested in this, you can basically press and hold, go to App Info and you can uninstall. There's a few other apps as well that were installed here under more apps, but again, all of these could be customized and removed. Uh, MIUI 12.5 is supposed to give us even more control to remove even more options out of the device. As far as tools, again, there's a remote control since we have an IR blaster, uh, of course, recorder, screen recorder, all of the different options that you can expect. But let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and do a quick gaming experience sample here directly with uh, both PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile. And keep in mind that the gaming center is still accessible directly from the top here by just swiping from the top left on your screen. So yesterday's announcement covered a lot of devices. Obviously the Mi 11 Lite, the 4G, as well as the 5G. Again, the 5G is gonna be the one carrying the 780G and that will also give you the ability of having not only better processing power, that's literally gonna be the best mid-range processor that we can get. The 765 from last year was definitely a champ, so I'm really looking forward to checking out the 780. Uh, but what you're getting here is a 732 gaming experience focused processor. As you saw, we were able to get some good frame rates right there in PUBG as well as Call of Duty Mobile. You're not going to be disappointed. Uh, the six gigs 
of RAM is actually quite enough for us to be able to run MIUI quite smoothly, 12, uh, especially with Android 11. And of course, the overall experience with the cameras, as you're seeing, uh, images look really nice. You have a wide angle lens, a telephoto lens, as well as a somewhat of a macro lens, a telephoto macro lens there. Uh, the front-facing video, only 1080p 60. I would have wished we had it somehow something like close to 4K. But I guess, again, at the end of the day, the best shooter is always going to be the back main sensor, the 64 megapixel sensor there. Let me know what you guys think of the brand new Mi 11 Lite. Again, the 4G and the 5G are going to be great options. They're going to start pricing around 299 euros. And depending on the configuration, the price goes up a little bit from there. Thank you very much to Xiaomi. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Like and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.